Come right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Nice to have you with us. A little bit. And, you know, when Jeffrey had asked you about the snail thing and about being worried about if you needed to do anything, he just says, they look fine, but I see small wigglers and other things in my snail tank that I didn't put there, LOL. So that's what's making him nervous, the little things he's seeing in his tank along with the snails. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Don't be worried. Don't be upset. Your tank is balancing. There are, think about it this way. For every one fish you have in the tank, there are 100,000 microscopic critters in that tank. Probably actually more, but that's that's a big number and an and appropriate number to describe what's really going on in your fish tank. There is life from one end of the spectrum to the other. Most of it is invisible. Occasionally you get to see some of it because it's just at the barely at the level of visibility. If you have a microscope or a good hand lens uh, and can look at that, it'll give you a deeper appreciation of the sheer volume of life living in your aquarium. Do not be dismayed or disheartened, my friends. It is a sign of your love for your aquarium that more creatures have taken up residence and are establishing home and heart in your little glass box. Feel good about that. Do not be intimidated. Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. But rather take joy in the knowledge that you are providing home for an enormous variety of life. Of life. Okay, so Hannah and Irina, which they're new, says, I got a few neon tetras today. Is it normal for them to try to swim into their reflection? Swim into what? Their reflection. So they're swimming, I guess, into the glass, their reflection. That's what I get out of that. Is that oh, they're, they're not seeing a reflection. You may see a reflection looking in. They don't see a reflection looking out. That's not what's happening. They're not, they're not swimming into their reflection. They're swimming into the water, and there's a piece of glass blocking their movements. They're trying to swim through the water, and they hit this invisible barrier. Far from being a reflection, it is completely invisible. And so they bump into it. Well, I hope you found something you've never seen before. Have a great day. Nice to have you with us. Come on back.